I'm Anthony Andrew, and we're here with Matt Bostic, the PE teacher at Death Elementary for week seven of Workout Wednesday. Uh, last week we did the Tabata, and right. this week you came up with another made up name, so what is this week's? Yes, Tabata last week was real short and intense. This one kind of goes along those lines, but a little more variation with movements and things like that. Today we're doing what's called an AMRAP, or as many rounds or repetitions as possible. All right. And the basis behind this is we can fit in a few more exercises, address some different things. We can also set a timer for however long we want to do this. All right. If you're a beginner, you can go a little shorter. More advanced athletes or more advanced students can move up and make it a little bit longer. All right. This is something you do with your students. Oh, yeah. This, okay. oh yeah. They love the competition part. All right, because if you're working side by side, everyone's doing the exact same exercises, everyone's doing the same repetitions, everyone's going at the same time. So as me and you are working out, you depend, you know, get a little friendly competition. <laughs> not, not, not a lot of friendly competition. Oh. Someone on uh, Facebook said you look like the Hulk in these videos, oh, and I'm compliment. just thinking that's Spence. I think no, I think Spence is. I think he's got a bad camera angle because what he doesn't see is it. I think it just reflects better on you than it does me. I think the camera is more focused on you, so you can't really see <laughs> uh, the no. true me. So the Hulk and I, I might be on the bulk. Man, close enough. So, all right, so we're going with an AMRAP. An AMRAP, yeah. And oh. so again, I would start maybe 10 to 15 minute on your timer. We're gonna do four exercises, three of which we've done in previous weeks. The first one, though, is a little bit different, all right? Our four exercises are gonna be a hands release push up. My students and I uh, worked on those some this year. Then we're gonna do our lunges for our legs. We can do sit ups or crunches, depending on your uh, the student's ability levels there for our core work. And then we'll do air squats for more leg um, exercise, all right? Hand release push-ups. Okay. All right, so let's start. Let's demonstrate talk about the hand release push-up first. What's great about this one is we're going to go ahead and start here in this up position. And instead of just touching our chest and popping back up, a hand release push-up, so we go all the way to the ground. Oh, okay. Let go. Oh, okay. And push-up. Like, it's like that, bit of that Superman thing you maybe did a few weeks ago. A little ago. bit, a little bit. In fact, the Army has actually switched this in their fitness test now. They're using hands release push-ups instead of standard ones. So again, down, release, back up. When you said hands release, yeah. I thought we're gonna have to like yes. jump in the air. <laughs> no, no, no. Clap our no, hands. No, we're not doing any clapping push-ups. Okay, today. thank you. And what's great about the hand release push-ups, um, I know for my students it was easier to help modify those that had a harder time with standard regular push-ups. They got that little bit of a split-second break at the bottom, and then they're able to get back up. So we're gonna do five of those. When we've done five of those, we'd stand up and do ten lunges, five per leg. Remember that was just a step. And then back. Yeah, I do the modified lunge. I yep, that's we, right. We found out. We want to try and get as close to the ground as we can. There's so three. As close as it gets. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. From there, it didn't. This is a choice for the students. We either want to do five sit-ups or five crunches, again, based on their ability level. One thing that I recommend, too, if you want to do the full sit-ups, you can always anchor your feet underneath your couch. So if you're having trouble getting all the way up, you don't have someone to hold your feet, it's a great option. All right, so again, just laying on the ground, five sit-ups. If you can do them, I just put my hands on my chest, all right, up, and we try and do five of those. You might be better at these than me. <laughs> It took seven weeks. <laughs> we found something that can actually Progress. Do. Progress. There's four. And then five. Alright. All right. And then finally we finish with our old favorite, an air squat. Again, shoulder width apart. Squat down. And we would do ten of these. There's two. Three. Our elementary students four, have better knees than me, I found five. that. For sure. <laughs> Trust me, yes. Better knees than me too. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. All right, oh. so five hand release push-ups, 10 lunges, five sit-ups or crunches, and then the 10 air squats. Again, set a timer, ready, set, go, and see how many full rounds you can get. And that's an AMRAP. An AMRAP, that's correct. All right, well, that's another new one from Matt. So that was back complete week seven of Workout Wednesday. We'll see you next Wednesday again.